Momentum time graph. We have here the momentum on the y-axis. I'll call this P. Since P is the symbol for the momentum. We have here P, which is the momentum. This is on the y-axis. This is kg meter per second. We have time on the x-axis, for example. And if I, if I draw a line like this, if I draw a line like this, you should know that, that the gradient of this line will give you what? This is the change in y-coordinate. This is the change in x-coordinate. The change in y-coordinate here is representing P, delta P. The change in x-coordinate here is representing delta T, isn't it? So you should know that the gradient is, in fact, what? Rise over run. And the rise here is delta P. Run here is delta T. And if you look closely, what is this delta P over delta T? That is the resultant force. So you should know that the gradient of momentum time graph gives you the resultant force that acts on the object. So here we have force as delta P over delta T. And you see here that this is the change in momentum. And this one here is the time that is involved, right? The gradient of can I get delta P kya hota hai? MV minus MU over delta T. So force nahi hota. This is force. So you know that the gradient of momentum time graph gives the resultant force on the object. Is that clear to everyone? The gradient of the momentum time graph gives you the resultant force. So for example, even if you have a curve like this, even if you have something of this sort, like this, and they've asked particularly that you should find the, the gradient at this specific point. If you have this point, then how do you get out of this point? You will tangent draw. Specific gay paper to me ask that you have point medical and obtain your doctor. Okay, so you'll take the gradient of this tangent, right? Tangent is actually the gradient. Okay, is that clear to everyone? Let me show you a question here. A body experiences a varying resultant force that causes its momentum to vary, as shown. At which point does the resultant force have the largest value? That is point B because it is the steepest. It has the greatest gradient. Agar aap dekhe to resultant force zero ka pe. C pe gradient zero hai. B pe gradient maximum hai. A pe bhi gradient kam hai. D pe bhi gradient kam hai. B pe gradient maximum hai to resultant force maximum. There's another question here. Summer 17 paper one one question over there. You have this graph and it's a momentum time graph. What is the resultant force on the motorcycle? The answer is A. Gradient is 5000 over 10. If you want to detail more detail, 5000 minus 0. Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1 will give you the same. That is 500. We are going to talk about Newton's third law now, right? And what is Newton's third law? You are already familiar with that. Newton's third law. If a body A, you have two different bodies here. This is body A. And we have another body, which is B. This is body A, this is body B. If body A exerts a force on body B, then body B will exert a force, which is equal in magnitude, but in the opposite direction, right? We have here, this body B, this force is from A to B. This force is from B to A. 
ये खुला रहे इफ बॉडी ए एग्जर्ट्स अ फोर्स वी कॉल दिस फोर्स एफ ए बी द फोर्स ऑफ ए ऑन बी दिस फोर्स हेयर इज एफ ए बी एफ ए बी ऑन बॉडी बी then body b will do what will exert a force fba on body a which is equal in magnitude but in the opposite direction which is equal in magnitude but is acting in the opposite direction but opposite in direction and remember that that this action and reaction pair they are always oppositely directed they act on two different bodies they never cancel out each other theek hai ye jo action aur reaction pair hai ye agar aapke paas ek object ye hai ek object ye hai तो आपके पास एक्शन ये है फॉर एग्जांपल एक्शन और ये रिएक्शन है तो दे आर ऑलवेज इक्वल इन मैग्नीट्यूड दे एक्ट एज अ पेयर ऑफ फोर्सेस एक्शन एंड रिएक्शन पेयर ऑफ फोर्सेस और इक्वल इन मैग्नीट्यूड दे आर ऑपोजिटली डायरेक्टेड they never cancel out each other ek dusre ko cancel nahi karti hai matlab iski force kisi aur body pe lag rahi hai uski force kisi aur body pe lag rahi hai agar ek hi body pe hoti to fir hum keh sakte the cancellation ho rahi hai but this is not happening here oppositely directed and they never cancel out each other as they act on two different bodies theek okay, hai they act on two different bodies right are you getting what i'm saying to isse pata kya chalta hai ki agar dekha jaye to agar ye ek body thi ye force laga rahi thi 5 newton to ye lagayegi minus 5 lekin 5 minus 5 ki equal nahi hai to hum kya karte hain minus bahar ek lagate hain equal karne ke liye hum ek minus bahar laga lete hain taaki to ye kya aapko bata raha hai एक्शन इज इक्वल टू माइनस रिएक्शन रिएक्शन माइनस फाइव था आपने माइनस एक और बाहर लगा दिया सो एक्शन वुड बी इक्वल टू रिएक्शन इफ देर इज अ माइनस साइन हेयर एक्शन इज इक्वल टू माइनस रिएक्शन इज एक्ट क्लियर फॉर एग्जांपल आप अगर ऊपर मूव करते हैं तो और फिर मूव डाउन बट अर्थ यू विल नॉट फील द एक्सलेशन ऑफ द अर्थ बिकॉज अर्थ इज सच लार्जर मैथ ये देखिएगा यू हैव हेयर अर्थ टेन न्यूटन फोर्स एक्स अपर दिस इज अ बॉल राइट टेन न्यूटन फोर्स अर्थ में भी पड़ेगी मैस ऑफ द बॉल इज वन के जी इफ आई राइट हेयर एफ इज इक्वल टू एम ए एक्सलेशन इज 10 meter per second square but if you talk about the acceleration of the earth the force is the same equal and opposite but the mass of the earth is so large that the acceleration becomes insignificant here it is approximately equal to zero so this is what is happening every there is for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction action is equal to minus reaction and we build up on this concept that they are oppositely directed they never aaj aapko ek aur cheez pata chalni wali hai jo aapko shayad pehle kabhi pata na ho ya aapne socha na ho shayad kuch logon ne socha ho ye aapke paas ek book hai ya ek koi box hai on a table this is a box on a table and what is happening here is 
This is the weight of the book. आपके पास ये वेट नीचे कर रहे हैं ये अगर एक्शन है तो रिएक्शन आएगा रिएक्शन ऑफ द वेट ऑफ द वेट इज फ्रॉम द सेंटर ऑफ द अर्थ एवर If we talk about this contact force here, action. This is the contact force. This is the action of. The, if this is the book, and if this is the table, we have here the action of the book on the table. Then the reaction is from the table. on the book because these are the contact forces these are not contact forces they are the gravitational forces so this is the reaction of the table on the book ye jo do maine aapko yahan pe bana ke dikhai hain ye kya hai they are the gravitational forces since they are because of the gravity right but these are action and reaction forces due to the contact these are contact forces ye aapko fark pata hona chahiye weight ka reaction earth ke center se aa raha hai theek is ka answer a hai b to beta book box ka earth ki surface ke sath contact forces isme b aur c hai gravitational forces w aur a hai i would write here that what is weight you already know that but let me write it that weight is basically the gravitational force that is acting on the object due to the influence of the gravitational field here right you we'll write here that weight is the gravitational force acting on objects due to influence of the gravitational field and we have also seen according to newton second law that since f is equal to mv minus mu over delta t which is ma if we talk about weight that is the force and we have here m and a is the gravitational acceleration so weight is equal to mg we have where g is the the gravitational acceleration which is of value 9.81 ms minus 2 viscous drag basically viscous force or drag force they are different in in a way but table has more and single word as viscous drag okay viscous drag now we use it collectively here theek okay? hai and we have viscous drag is the frictional force exerted on an object when it moves through a fluid viscous drag is the frictional force exerted on an object when it moves through a fluid jab bhi koi si fluid se ek object move karega uske upar force acting hai viscous drag okay so resistance is the same for example you have this you know object moving in water this is the direction of velocity
this is the direction of viscous drag. Yeah, because if agar object is taraf jayega the viscous drag usko oppose karega if it is falling in the flow this is flow in water okay this is the flow that we are having in the water right acha ab jo viscous drag hai uska us tarah se formula directly included nahi hai lekin wo aapko si base units ko compare karne ke liye khud se bata deta पेपर टू में पेपर वन में तो लेकिन आपको ये पता होना चाहिए कि ड्रैग फोर्स जो है वो प्रोपोर्शनल है स्पीड से स्पीड के स्क्वायर से अगर स्पीड बढ़ेगी तो ड्रैग फोर्स भी बढ़ेगी अगर स्पीड ज्यादा होगी तो ड्रैग फोर्स भी उतनी ज्यादा होगी ऐसे ही होता है गाड़ी चला रहे हैं आप सो वी हैव हेयर डी इज इक्वल टू वन ओवर टू सो वी हैव हेयर डी इज इक्वल टू वन ओवर टू रो ए सी वी स्क्वायर This formula is not directly included because this all is constant. Let me tell you. This is the density of the fluid. This is the area. This is drag coefficient. and this is the velocity and we have a square there right so they will never ask you again i'm telling you they will never ask you directly about this formula but they can give you a model that d is proportional to v square right so we can write here d is proportional to v square so if v increases the drag force is going to Increase, right? The drag force is going to increase. I'm going to write here that if an object is moving under ये तो हमारा यहाँ पे काम का तमाम हो गया अब हम बात कर रहे हैं कि जब वो एयर रेजिस्टेंस के बगैर काम मूव करेगा यहाँ पे तो चले वाटर का रेजिस्टेंस आ रहा था या अगर एयर रेजिस्टेंस आ रहा है अब अगर हम बात करें इफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट ये क्या यहाँ पे इसकी काम तो खत्म हो गया राइट अब हम आगे जा रहे हैं इफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट इज मूविंग अंडर द इंफ्लुएंस ऑफ ग्रेविटेशनल फील्ड without air resistance agar air resistance nahi hoga then object will move with constant acceleration that is free fall acceleration that is g air resistance nahi hai lekin jab air resistance aa jayega usko hum dekhenge aage then object will move with constant acceleration of free fall g 